In question number 41, a parabola is given y square equal to 4x. There is an equation of the circle. There is a normal to this parabola at the end of the letter sectum. At is, that is uh, 1 comma 2 or 1 comma minus 2. And this normal is tangent to this circle. So what we are doing first is we are writing down the equation of the normal at the point 1 comma 2. For that we need slope of the normal at this point. For that we can calculate dy by dx. Now this is going to be 4. And from here dy upon dx equals 2 upon y. Now the point where we want to calculate the slope of tangent is 1 comma 2. And here you will get dy by dx as 1. So this is slope of tangent and we need the slope of normal. And that will be what? Minus 1. So the equation is y minus 2 equals minus 1 times x minus 1. And this is going to be x plus y minus 3 equals 0. So the equation of normal at the end of the letter sectum is x plus y minus 3 equal to 0. And since this touches the circle x minus 3 square plus y plus 2 square equals r square. So we can say the perpendicular distance from the center to this line equals the radius of this circle. So the center coordinates of center is minus 3 comma 2. The perpendicular distance of the point from this line is going to be p and this is minus 3 sorry this is 3 comma minus 2 and this is going to be 3 minus 2 minus 3 upon root under 2 and that is equals radius and in the question it is asked r square so r square is going to be 2 hence the answer is 2 here we have fx as greater integer x for x less than or equal to 2 0 for x greater than 2 and we have to evaluate this integral so we have to we will have to break this minus 1 c 2 as minus 1 to 0 the same integrand plus 0 to 1 then is 1 to root 2 then is root 2 to root 3 and then is from root 3 to 2 and the integrand in every is going to every uh, term is going to be x fx square upon 2 plus fx plus 1 we can see this is again x fx square 2 plus fx plus 1 dx and for these two three parts also x fx square upon 2 plus fx plus 1 dx again for this x fx square upon 2 plus fx plus 1 dx and in the last also x fx square upon 2 plus fx plus 1 dx now we can watch every integral like this minus 1 x is varying between minus 1 to 0 so x square is varying between 0 to 1 and if x square is varying between 0 to 1 the argument of f varies between 0 to 1 and for 0 to 1 we will have to consult this portion and this is going to be 0 so the value of this integral is going to be 0 again here also this is going to be 0 now in the last two integral we can see x varies between root 2 to root 3 x square will be varying between 2 to 3 and if x square is varying between 2 to 3, the argument of f varies between 2 to 3. And according to this, this is going to be again 0. And with the similar logic, this is also going to be 0. So we are left with only this integral. So i is going to be 1 to root 2, this integral. Now you can see, when x varies between 1 to root 2, x square varies between 1 to 2. So the argument of f varies between 1 to 2. And according to this, this is going to be 1 upon 2 plus 0. Now this is going to be x square upon 4 from 1 to root 2 and this is going to be 2 by 4 minus 1 by 4 that is going to be 1 by 4 and hence the value of 4i minus 1 equals 0 and hence the answer is 0.